Hello everyone, welcome to Move Well, Live Well. We get a number of people that come in here with issues regarding digestion. And in particular, they're experiencing indigestion. So, they're getting symptoms such as stomach fullness, bloating, sometimes nausea, uh, right after a meal. Sometimes they also get a little bit of acid reflux. They get, you know, kind of that heartburn feel after they eat. And so what's going on here? Why are they experiencing indigestion? Well, anyway, I brought out good old Guyton and Hall, the textbook of medical physiology here. And I'm just gonna read right out why they're experiencing indigestion. There's a forgotten cause to why we're getting indigestion. It's often missed. And we you know we take all kinds of and acids and proton pump inhibitors and all this stuff when really we forget the forgotten cause. Here we go. This is from Guyton Hall. Digestive enzymes act only on the surfaces of food particles. Well, what does that mean? So the more surface area your food has, the more that the digestive enzymes can act on and digest your food, and you can take that digested food and absorb it better. Check this out, again, Guyton and Hall, right here. Chewing, chewing of the food is important for digestion of all foods. And that's what we're seeing. We're seeing these folks, and they're simply not chewing their food well enough and they get indigestion, right here. Digestive enzymes act only on the surfaces of food particles. The rate of digestion is absolutely dependent on the total surface area exposed to the digestive secretions. Additionally, grinding the food to a very fine particulate consistency prevents excoriation of the GI tract and increases the ease which food is in, emptied into the stomach, into the small intestine, and then all into all the succeeding six segments of the gut. So what does that mean in English? So the more you chew your food, the more the digestive enzymes can act on the surface air, increased surface area of that food, increasing your ability to digest the food and absorb the food, and it doesn't scrape up, excoriate, it doesn't scrape up the lining of your GI tract. Here's an example, I think you'll like this example. This is a piece of paper right here. Let's just pretend this is your food. And I have a piece of food and I kind of chew it up haphazardly like this, and I got this big chunk of food, and I swallow this, and it comes down like this, and it just kind of sits in my stomach like this and your, di your, your digestive enzymes have to work on this big, huge chunk of food, all right? Now, I brought out good old handy dandy paper shredder, yeah! This is our chewing mechanism for today. So, I'm gonna take this off, this is the top here. Um, as you can see, this is, the, this is your stomach. You see, this is your stomach, it's empty. All right, your stomach is empty. I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna put our mouth back on here, like this. And I got another piece of food, another piece of paper right here. And I'm gonna have this up or chew this up. I'm gonna go right here. Right in there. Right so this is chewing your food. This is what's going on. So now it's all chewed up. Let's uh, take a look in the stomach here. And look at this. Look at that chewed food in your stomach. Now, would you rather have this sitting in your stomach or this in your stomach? Look at how much more surface area your digestive enzymes can work on with this same size piece of paper, same size piece of food. Now you're gonna be digesting the food better you're gonna be absorbing the nutrients more properly, and it's not gonna scrape up the lining of your esophagus, your stomach, your intestines, 
and even out the rectum. You get constipation doing stuff like this, scraping you up from the inside. It's like shrap it's like pushing shrapnel out of you. Take the time to chew your food. That is the forgotten cause of indigestion. Also, some malabsorption too. You know, the more surface area you have, you got this thing, your digestive enzymes can only work on the outside surfaces of this thing. And then you get indigestion. You get the middle part doesn't even get, get broken down. Whereas this, much more surface area to digest your food. You increase absorption of your food. You get more nutrients. You heal better. You feel better. I don't know. Forgotten cause? Chew your food. And you know, here we are. This is a simple fix, but it's not always easy. You get hungry, right? You get hungry. I know folks, you know, they get hungry and they're scarfing down their food and they're going, oh man, now my stomach's all hurt. And they grab the antacids, they grab the Prilosec or whatever it is. And it's, it's, a, it's their natural um, way of life. And that's not a natural way of life. That's their kind of their normal routine now is you eat food and then you take antacid and when all they need to do is chew their food better so anyway if you have any questions with this video drop it off in the comment section below we thank you for watching we appreciate it if you're new here hit subscribe and when you hit subscribe make sure you hit that bell notification button because that'll keep you in the loop with subsequent videos coming here in the near future and that way you can continue to move well and live well also I know you know folks who are battling indigestion. Share this with them. Sharing is caring. You know, knowledge is the key so that way they can get proper digestion of their food and they don't have to suffer from heartburn and all kinds of weird symptoms in their stomach just by simply chewing their food. Anyway, also, Give us a thumbs up. Give us a like. It lets us know you care. Anyway, we thank you for watching. We appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye. Open up. You O-P-N. Hit you one, baby. Yeah, my.